Okay, this is a 2006 Ottawa tractor. And this is how we lift the cab on these. You've got this cable here. We pull this out and then we hit this switch here to raise it. Show you how it's done. And once it's raised, we make sure this bar right here pushes down. There it is. Caterpillar motor. We are cat powered. Love them kitty cats. Alright, now to put the cab back down, once again we pull this cable here and hit this switch. Show you that. And that's how we do it. That's how we uh, lift and lower the cab on a uh, Ottawa terminal tractor. Thank you for watching. All right, so it's Sunday night. It's quarter to 8 p.m. on the East Coast, Eastern Standard Time. I came in early because I got a call yesterday saying that they had to uh, lease their trailers out. Well, we got this here. Okay, this is really no big deal. I push all these trailers back, plus backfill the empty ones, which probably done in about a half an hour or so. Check out this mess. All these trailers here have to be pushed back. Every single one of them. Because this weekend they were doing uh, some asphalt maintenance. They were sealing the uh, pavement here. So all these trailers I've got to push back in line. What a mess. Right, let's go look at the other side. It's a good thing I came in early tonight. A little overtime. Overtime's not bad. It's good for the paycheck. Let's go over here. Ah, Heartland Express, you dropped on the wrong row, but that's nothing new. They usually do. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, down here, we've got to push these trailers back as well. This is going to probably take uh, another half an hour to an hour to push all these back. I know some are saying, well, all you gotta do is push them back. It don't take that long. Well, by the time you back under and hook up to it and all that, so. This is how we're starting our work week. Good times. I gotta get punched in and get rolling here. See what else the, uh, what other kind of trouble we can get into tonight. All right, so I'm over here. I'm backing all these trailers in over here. They make it seem better there. All these trailers I've pushed back. Now while I was doing this, okay, this Swift driver over here comes in and just drops this trailer right here. Doesn't go here, he just came in and dropped it here. Now he could have come up to me and asked me, hey, where do you want me to drop this? But nope. Just drop it right in the middle of the way and when it got an empty and boogie down out of here. Gotta love it. Alright, so I pushed back 56 trailers in an hour and 20 minutes. I don't think that's too bad. So now it looks as if we're somewhat back to normal. There is no such thing as normal back here. See, I got all these are all uh, pushed back. Atro is all pushed back. And let's see what we got over here. And Giro is all pushed back. Back to normal. Like I said, it was like an hour and 20 minutes, 56 trailers. I don't think that's too bad. That's all for now. 
fix this driver right here. I've been trying for about half an hour to put that trailer in the, that spot right there. So we told him to uh, drop it and we'll put it in there for him because uh, yeah, know, it's just taking too long. It's kind of in our way. That's our good deed, our good deed of the day. Well, it's a warm night out for October anyway. And we've got We got the GoPro there shooting in the front window. So uh, definitely getting some more GoPro footage. Yay. As soon as I get the proper software, we'll be doing uh, all GoPro all the time. So uh, that's all for now. Y'all have a good day, eh?